Meanwhile, the chief of defense staff, General Christopher Musa, uh, says there is no hiding place for crude oil thieves in the Niger Delta, as he promised to unravel those behind the latest stealing of 200,000 liters of crude in Biosyn State. He said this when he led a high-powered presidential team to inspect the impounded vessel and crew arrested by private security outfit Tan Tantita uh, Securities Services in Escobos Waterways, Wari South west of Delta State. Ikena Meiji reports. Latest data from the Nigerian National Petroleum Company Limited revealed that there are 112 incidences of crude oil theft across the Niger Delta in one week and they occurred between 23rd and 29th of December 2023. On the 11th of January this year, Tantita Security Services arrested a vessel at Pennington Oil Feed loading crude oil and it has attracted a lot of attention that necessitated the visit of the military top brass. Today, a delegation led by the Chief of Defense Staff, comprising the Chief of Naval Staff, the JTF Commander, as well as the Group Chief Executive Officer of the NNPC Limited, arrived at the Escravos Waterways to inspect the vessel and the arrested suspects. As directed by the Speaking with Chief, newsmen, General Christopher Musa gave a stern warning to perpetrators of this crime while calling on the media to get their facts right, saying there is no division among security operatives and private security outfits. Uh, this is a collaborative effort and it will continue to be collaborative together with the NNPC, uh, the other uh, private security agencies, the uh, main federal government agencies are also working together. Uh, I don't want a situation where we create as if there's immunity between this group and that group. There is no immunity between us. We're working for the same team. We're all Nigerians. This is our country. Whatever is happening here is acts of criminality that must be stopped by all Nigerians. The chief of defense staff promised to intensify the fight against these oil thieves and criminality ravaging the nation's economy. The country is bleeding. We need all the funds we need so that this country can grow and develop. And it is by stopping these criminals like this that will make that very possible. The chief of defense intelligence is going to go straight into investigation as to who are involved, what was taken, who sent them, and this to the base. Because we want to not only catch, these are just the perpetrators, that enough is enough. The oil vessel, MT Kali, was on Thursday arrested by Tantista Security Services at the Pennington Oil Feed of the coast of Bayelsa State with 200,000 litres of crude already loaded. Ikenna Amechi, TVC News, Escravos, Delta State.